You must have lye, or what is known as sodium hydroxide, to make soap. Lye is a caustic alkaline solution and must be treated with respect and handled very carefully. Before the modern manufacturing of lye, it was made by burning particular hardwoods at very high temperatures to make white ashes. Then water mixed with baking soda was used to penetrate the ashes and remove the lye. The ashes were then filtered out and the lye water was used to mix with animal fats for a strong and crude soap. Nowadays lye can be purchased in beads or flakes. Most soapers find that they enjoy using the flake form of lye since it dissolves the easiest. Lye should always be handled in a well ventilated area with gloved hands. Properly mixed with water, lye forms a chemical reaction with the fatty acids to begin the process of saponification. There are a variety of fats that can be used to make your soap with. Some soap makers use animal fats, but many have found these soaps to be drying to the skin or irritating to problem skin conditions. Our method of soap making involves using only vegetable derived fats or oils. It is universally known that different oils impart different properties to your final soap product. Olive oil is very conditioning and gives a creamy lather. Coconut oil is very cleansing and gives a very bubbly lather. Other fats like shea butter or cocoa butter impart moisturizing elements to the final soap. Each oil has a different saponification value. This means that different oils require different amounts of lye in order to saponify. To make it easy, there are a couple of lye calculators available online. Simply enter the amount of each oil or fat you are using and the lye calculator will tell you exactly how much water and lye you need to use to make your soap. The lye calculator also has a feature that helps you see what kind of soap different combinations of oils will make based on the following properties. Hardness, cleansing, conditioning, bubbly lather, and creamy lather. The most popular lye calculator can be found at www.soapcalc.com. Don't worry if this sounds confusing. Just do your studying and weigh and measure everything carefully. To make things just a bit more complicated, most soapers like to super fat their soap at about 5 to 8 percent. This simply means that 5 to 8 percent of the fatty acids do not get saponified and this creates a more mild bar of soap. Most of the lye calculators online can automatically figure this for you. Once you have the correct amount of lye and oils and water properly mixed, it still takes about four to six weeks to become a good finished soap. This is called curing. Once in the mold, the soap mixture heats up to what is called the gel stage and then cools to a solid state. Over the next couple weeks, excess water evaporates out of the soap, causing it to harden and shrink a little. There you have it, the chemistry of soap.